Welcome back to What Are Tea Noobs with General Disturbance. This is an E25 Satya 7 German Premium Tank Destroyer. It's located on the south spawn of Pearl River Encounter, and this one is under the command of Baked 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of the Roger Clan. Okay, we'll call him Baked, it's much easier. Okay, Baked's got a 75mm gun, which is built inside a very low tank destroyer, which is similar to a Hetzer but it's actually also supposed to be a light tank stroke reconnaissance vehicle. It's actually got the camo qualities of uh, most light tanks, but uh, it's probably one of the best camo qualities in the game. But uh, it's what it relies on to stay alive. 75 millimeter main gun, capable of doing 135 alpha, and it'll penetrate 150 millimeters with standard ammo. With premium rounds, it'll do 194. And with the HE rounds, it does 175 with only 38 millimeters of pen. Now you can see that Bait has one, two, three marks of excellence on the barrel. Yeah, he's an accomplished E25 player and he wants a bit of uh, fun. Now he went round here to see if he could get shots into that 122 TM, but he can't. And that's a bit of a problem. But he's switching to standard AP. And I think he's going to try and shoot at the enemy tanks which are in the uh, field. In fact, there's a Cromwell making his way through the uh, padding fields right down below us. There he is. First shot gets a hit. Second one into the engine bay. Oh, he got a fire! And he set light to him and burned him up. And now he's hiding because there's two enemy RT and he doesn't want to get hit. And yeah, that looked like a shell that was on the way for him. So he's got his first kill of the game. Now, as I mentioned, it's an E25, part of the Entwicklung series, which is a series of six tanks that the, the Waffen Proofant actually um, designed to make easier to build, not to make them more superior, just easier to produce. A lot of the parts were shared, were common parts between the same tanks. Tries to get a shot on that T-37. Okay. IS about to come around the corner. First shot. Gets a hit on the turret. Second shot. Oh, that shot hit the engine deck and he went up. So he's got his second kill. Got a round into the IS-2 shield. Oh, he burned his repair kit to keep moving. And now he's being shredded by these shells. That's part of the problem with this gun. It doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but it does fire very, very quickly. Standard reload, 2.88 seconds, and Baked has got it down to 2.38. Now, you only get 60 rounds of ammunition, so you don't get a whole lot. He's down to 45 already, so he's burned one quarter of his ammunition, but he does have three kills already. Okay, he's going to have a quick check. There's nobody trying to come into the village, but I don't think they can because we've got a Tiger P in the way. Oh, no, that's a juicy target. It's a tier 8 game with tier 6 tanks in it, and he's gone around into the SU-130PM. Would be easier, actually, to use the HE rounds on that guy. Nope, didn't get that one in. He's got to watch out for that SU-130PM because he's got a 530... Is it 530 Alpha? 520 remember five i think it's 520 it's 13 centimeter so he has got a, a lot of damage in one shot t71 cmcd uh, he can't see us but we can definitely see him missed on that one get him as he's backing up he's pulling back he's yeah he's desperate to get back can't see oh now we can see the is2 now can take it out oh Dispersion sent the shell to the light, and that one ricocheted off the engine deck, but he got that one through the engine deck, and that's the end of his game. So, four kills now. Can he get that T-71? There he is. Yep. It's going to need at least three shots. Just about make him out. Unfortunately, he's got, like, tank camo as well, and we've lost sight of him. And he tried one shot, but he can't try anymore because otherwise he would burn up too much ammo. He's now down to 31 rounds, so he's almost at half his ammo left. 
Now, as far as we know, there's a Skoda 56 coming this way because if you look at the minimap, you can see last time an enemy tank was seen, they were seen very close to the village. And I have a suspicion that he's on the way in. There's the T-71. He's going through the water. He got wiped out, taken up by the BZ-176. But that Skoda is bound to be coming in here. And I think that he ought to try and escape if he can. So a quick look to the south. Okay, he's waiting here for the moment. Trying to think what he needs to do next. There's the Skoda. Oh, run away, run away. He got spotted. Desperately trying to escape. And he doesn't want to lose too many hit points, so he has to try and make it down as gently as he can. And he's been spotted again. Oh, now he got hit by a Super Hellcat. Let's hope he doesn't get hit by that Skoda. Okay, so he lost 224, which is a low roller, if I remember correctly, from the Super Hellcat with his 19mm. But this thing is very, very good on camo quality. It's one of the best things about it. Very low profile, excellent camo. And he's escaping down the river. I think he's going to go around the edge of the map and try and come up on the Super Hellcat when he least expects it. That's what comes with having three marks of excellence. You have all the skills and the experience to know how to play this thing. Okay, he's right at the edge of the map now. Oh, no, no, you just run into the edge of the map there. Now, hopefully the Super Hellcat won't see him. And also that uh, Skoda won't see him either. And there's the Skoda, he's in the river. Okay, they're both after the M44. Yeah, which one do you go for first? Super Hellcat, I think the T-56 has got a 13 centimeter main gun, two shot autoloader. Better go for the Super Hellcat, we can take him out with three or four shots. Got two in the cap at the moment, but I think the enemy is going to try and get a reset. Super Hellcat's rushing to the cap as quickly as he can. can we get a shot. Well, he auto aimed on. The first shot was a bit of a muck up, but one into the rear. Two. Oh, the second shot went into the turret. Now, the question is, where is that uh, Skoda? We've lost the M44. They're all going to the cap area for a reset. There's the Skoda. He's down below. Can we get the Super Hellcat? Yes. That's another kill. Five kills. SU-130 PM comes into sight. Oh! Well, we got the kill on the SU-130 PM, but we got clobbered by the Hummel for 272. I think that was a direct hit, or at least it landed right next door to us. Can't see the Skoda. It's two versus four. They've got two RT. Uh, we've got somebody in the cap, but they're blocking it. Ooh, takes a bit of a risk with the suspension there, but he gets by. You can see that the enemy's trying to reset and they're trying to take out our BZ-176. And they've started capping, which means our BZ's had to pull out of the cap. Now, can we get shots? It's the Skoda that's in the cap. Yeah, you can just see him over the rise there. Here we go. Now, he's going to peek over the rise, starts pumping those rounds into his engine deck. Try and get the engine deck if you can. Oh! Now, did he get the kill? No, he didn't. The kill went to the BZ-176, but now there's only two enemies left. We've got the Top Gun, and there's the Hummel saying, here we are. So, he's got the potential to pick up a Radley Walters if he can kill both of the enemy RT. And, of course, he'll be a Pascucci's. There's the Hummel. No, he's having a quick look. No, the Hummel's setting himself up to ambush for a shotgun. Go around him. He's going to come around and attack him from the rear. The Hummel is probably expecting somebody to come straight onto him. He's going to surprise him by coming up from behind. Oh, the M44 has been spotted. Okay, auto aim on. No, he's just going to do it manually. And he gets the kill. 
That's his seventh. And he's in platoon with the BZ-176, so there's a Brabs in arms. Yep, there's the Hummel. And he has got the big gun. So he hasn't got the fire rate, but I think he's about to go down. He's just derped his last. And that wins the game. And it's a Radley Walters. For Bakes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here's the end of battle stats. And that was an ace tanker game for bait. One, two, three, four, five, six of the Roger clan in the E25, the cockroach. He managed to get an arsonist because he set an enemy light, uh, an enemy tanker light and watched it burn to death. In fact, it was their best player, the enemy team's best player. The Cromwell B was a unicum, uh, but he set him a light and he burned to death. He also got a duelist for taking down two tanks who damaged him. A fire for effect for doing more damage than the hit points to his own vehicle. A bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. In fact, he got seven. And here comes the epic medals. He got a Radley Waters medal for killing at least eight enemy vehicles in that game. He got eight exactly. A Pascucci's medal for killing both enemy RT, the M44 and then the Hummel. Brothers in Arms because he killed at least three tanks and was in platoon with somebody else who had at least three kills. A high caliber for dealing the most damage in the game. Top Gun for getting at least six kills. And he got the Tank Sniper for doing the most damage at a distance of 300 meters or more. In fact, he did a huge amount of damage from the village. His win eight in that game, 14,112. Uh, and that is Super Unicum and a lot, lot more. Let's have a look at the team score. Well, at the end of the game, he had 3,960 hit points, beating the Skoda T-56 on the enemy team, who got a defender, and 3,415. The second, the third highest damage in the game turned out to be the enemy Super Hellcat, who got 2,551. And in fourth place was that BZ-176, who also got a Brubs in Arms and 2,398 hit points of damage. When it came to kills, yep, he got those as well. Eight kills. He carried the team because all of the all of his teammates' kills combined couldn't match his. And three kills went to the BZ-176 on his team. The Skoda T-56 and the Super Hellcat also had three. And when it came to base XP, he had that one as well. So he's got the top in all three columns. 1,468 went to baked 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And 994 went to the BZ-176. And the third highest was the, no, it was the Skoda T56. 737 went to him. So he did play rather well, although he was outmatched on this occasion by a tier 7 tank. Yes, rather nice that it was a tier 7 tank because he actually got the bonus for every time he hit a tier 8 opponent, he was getting 10% extra on his XP. So let's have a look at detail. Fired 44 rounds in that game, so he didn't use up all of his ammo. In fact, he still had a quarter of his ammo left, which showed he was very frugal with his ammo and used it wisely. 38 direct hits on the enemy, 32 penetrations, 3,960 hit points of damage, of which 2,810 were at more than 300 meters. He received two hits during the game, one of which was a penetration. That was the Super Hellcat, who actually did get a shot. And two hits by way of splash damage. Yes, both of those came from the enemy RT. In fact, it was the Hellcat, uh, the Hummer, rather, who actually hit him. And uh, you can see one of the impact points was directly on the uh, on the mantlets, actually, which uh, of all places to hit, that's probably the, the easiest, the best place for him to be hit because, of course, it's fairly thick metal. Whereas everywhere else on the Hummel, on the uh, E25 rather, is fairly weak metal. He's only got 50 millimeters of armor at the front, 30 at the sides and rear, and the Hummel should easily have penetrated him. But the Hummel only had the top gun, didn't have the stock gun. If he'd had the stock gun, he would have been able to get more shots off and reload much, much quicker. Three enemy vehicles were spotted, 10 enemy vehicles damaged, eight killed, and he got nine defense points when he reset the cap. On a premium count, he earned 86,127 credits for the game, 90,000 for completing a mission, 176,127 altogether. And after repair, ammunition, resupply, and consumables, still took away a profit of 123,118 credits. He also managed to take away 7,046 XP because he got a reward. Well, he got a reward of free XP out of this game, as well as his personal reserve bonus and, of course, the premium, because, of course, this is a premium vehicle. So, as, as he says, great comeback at the end because they were down, as you saw, two to four. Um, they were actually had the odds against them. 
but they still managed to win in the end thanks to bait one two three four five six because he was in the vehicle that obviously a lot of people call very very op but in the hands of somebody who knows what they're doing this thing can take on tier eights well dare i say it even maybe tier nines and make fools of them but of course as i said it does have limited ammo so if you don't have the right ammo loadout you can come a cropper in this thing because it is rather um thirsty for the shells and it doesn't do much every time it shoots only that 135 so you have to peck away at the enemy from long ways away uh, to get the damage so i hope you enjoyed that replay superb replay by baked if you enjoyed it please give this video a like do subscribe to our channel leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm and thank you for watching